so collecting all the data and putting everything on a map, but then then providing the right map at the right moment. So we, um, as we told you, we, we are collecting all this uh, this data from lidar, from uh, from other sources. The, uh, this is actually the the, uh, the lidar, so we are creating um, a model of the, of the city. But then you may or may not need all this data. An autonomous car needs uh, the uh, HD live map. Uh, you, as a pedestrian or uh, transit uh, rider, you may not need all the uh, all that information, but you may need exactly where the BART and, uh, and buses are running in uh, in San Francisco. As a tourist, you may need where point of visitors are. So it's always the same map, and we are surfacing different information at different at different times. Um, if you remember uh, the Kyoto demo, so how we got to the warehouse or back, uh, we didn't mention that. But if you if you looked at the at the dashboard, uh, the map was changing automatically. The, the, uh, where, when the car was uh, speeding up, you were getting like a more bird's eye view. Um, of the city, while we, uh, when you were um, when we were going slower, then it would zoom in, so serve a, m a much more uh, more precise map. And th this is all live data, so it's actually data that we are collecting um, about about traffic, and how traffic is changing. Um, uh, around the city at different times, so that we can uh, build um, products like predictive, predictive traffic. So if you at 3 p.m. plan to go to the movie, um, at 8 p.m. you can already at 3 p.m. ask uh, our system, hey, um, when should I leave to be on time at 8 p.m. based on uh, on live, uh, live data but also on, on historical data. And these are all the data like parking and, uh, uh, and fuel pricing that you have seen uh, in, uh, in the Kyoto car as well. So the, this model is actually being used uh, for, uh, for trade shows um, and this is the first time that we are that we are actually showing it to to, uh, to an audience that is not our customers. Um, so we brought it exclusively to, to Berkeley for you guys. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's, it's quite nice and interactive. Um, and um, and yeah, you will, you will see it probably more um, in uh, in future uh, in future trade shows. It's mind boggling, <laughs> right? Yeah, I, I think that, uh, this is the, one of the best examples, the, the, uh, the last one. 